the season 9 had some significant ups and downs. On the positive side, every couple made it to the altar, no matter what stood in their way. At the same time, some of these couples should probably not have married, not based on what we all watched. But all of the couples gave us some spectacular wedding photos, so let's take a look. Ariella Weinberg and Benny M. Shubre starred in two seasons of 90 Day Fiancé the other way. Then they made their way over to the United States and onto season 9 of 90 Day Fiancé. They had a child, an intercontinental move and countless fights before finally tying the knot. By his admission, Benny was not happy about the Jewish wedding ceremony. Though the wedding incorporated his Ethiopian heritage, he is an Ethiopian Orthodox Christian. Ariella has participated in many of his religious festivals and rituals as a compromise. This reciprocation was a first for him. The wedding was gorgeous, though. 90 Day Fiancé fans had already seen spoilers about this last year when photos from the weddings leaked. Seeing it was another matter. A beautiful ceremony, no matter how you feel about their relationship. Bilal Hatsiz and Shaida Sween were already spiritually married before they began filming. However, their formal wedding, presumably attached to a marriage license, took place in Bilal's home. His sister Nefertari did a fantastic job decorating Bilal's spacious colorless home into a stunning venue. Shaida and Bilal did not have a you may kiss the bride moment, but of course that is not part of the Muslim wedding tradition. They did immediately foreshadow conflicts to come. Shaida still hopes to have children, Bilal will likely stall as long as he can. But for now, we can admire how stunning she looks in that dress. Pranks aside, Nefertari did a stellar job. Emily Bieberly and Kobe Blaze fought but made up the night before the wedding. Was it for the best that they made up and got married? Well, maybe the future will surprise us. But they had an indoor wedding, with Emily still hiding her pregnancy and her and Kobe looking great. Kobe and Emily and both of Emily's parents were very emotional on the wedding day. Those tearful moments showed how significant this day was. Of course, a couple of days later, Emily and Kobe revealed they were expecting baby number two. Jibri and Miona Bell did not consistently demonstrate the best judgment during their season, but Miona had a strong vision of what she wanted her wedding to be. Eventually, they compromised on an attainable wedding, but sadly, the plans came too late for Jibri's parents to be able to attend. One of the biggest worries was the arch that their friend Igor was driving to Joshua Tree from Los Angeles. When it arrived, it was not a traditional arch, instead it was just two-thirds of a triangle. Despite her strong vision for what she wanted her wedding to be, Miona accepted it for what it was. Jibre's grandmother did a fantastic job of officiating the wedding. While viewers have mixed feelings about their vows, the sun's symbolism was a cute and setting appropriate touch. And even people who hate Jibre's band's typical music were charmed by his country song. That said, I prefer his band's music. Cara Bass and Guillermo Roger were in many practical ways married during her time in the DR. However, living together in Virginia showed Guillermo that Cara is a little sad in her ways. In a place where she's accustomed to making her own choices, it was hard for her to back off and cut back on partying. But the two were one of the most liked couples this season, and not only because of their castmates. They love each other, and their problems with communications are not unassailable. Also, they both look drop-dead gorgeous on their wedding day. They had a more meaningful ceremony and were glad they did it. Fans cannot stop talking about how much they loved Kara's perfect hair that day. Guillermo's hair was not looking bad either. It looked best in his throwback pics in the Dominican Republic. And overall, he was as handsome as ever. Patrick Mendes and Thais Ramon had three significant hurdles in their relationship. His family was one, Patrick's control issues, making unilateral decisions was another, her dad was yet another one. They didn't solve any of these problems before getting married. Of course, maybe they didn't have to. Patrick's issues are one thing, the rest is other people's opinions, related or otherwise background noise. In Florida, Patrick and Thighs were joined by friends and family for a beautiful outdoor ceremony. Words cannot express how insanely dazzling Thighs looked in her wedding gown. Unsurprisingly, one of the hottest couples in the franchise's history also looked this fantastic on their wedding day. Honestly, I'm rooting for their marriage. And for Josh's housing search. Yvette Arellano and Mohamed Abdelhamed were sure to include her son Theron in their wedding. It was not Mohamed's dream wedding. That would have been a quick and efficient courthouse wedding. Instead, they married at an actual venue. Despite the delay in his precious green card documentation, Mohammed eventually accepted that. They were also open to Theron changing out of his, let's face it, miserably uncomfortable formal attire. 
We'd say it was a beautiful ceremony like the others, but viewers felt distracted during the on-screen nuptials. Mohammed's alleged texts leaked several days before the wedding episode, months after the wedding date. In the believable text messages, he insulted Eve and Faran and was cheating. In addition, he made it clear that he wanted to leave Yvette as soon as he had his green card. Perhaps Eve can say more on Instagram after the tell-all airs. For now, I only have these bittersweet pics. Phew, gonna go drink some water. Thanks for watching anyway. Subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate all of these actions. Also, good luck and have a nice day, of course.